The Senate says it will consider a ramp up of more resources for security agencies in 2023 appropriation. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, said this on Tuesday during his welcome speech after the legislative annual recess as resumption of plenary. Lawan said this through the National Assembly approved over $800 billion for security and intelligence agencies. It will be necessary to increase funds and resources to the security sector. According to him, efforts must be made to sustain the fight against insecurity by ensuring adequate funding for security agencies in 2022 budget to be submitted by President Mohamed Buhari later this month to the National Assembly for consideration. Lawan also applauded the armed forces for the recent success recorded in their fight against insurgents and banditry, urged them to sustain the campaign until the insurgents and bandits are rooted in the country. Distinguished colleagues, let me applaud and commend our gallant armed forces for the recent successes recorded in their fight against insurgency and banditry in our country. I want to urge them to sustain the campaigns until the insurgents and bandits are rooted out in our country. The Summers colleagues will recall that we approved the supplementary budget request of the executive in July this year, just before we proceeded for the annual summer recess. The National Assembly approved 800, over 800 billion naira for our security and intelligence agencies. While that provision was appropriate and indeed necessary, we should sustain the trajectory of increase in funds and resources to the security sector. Therefore, we should consider a ramp up of more resources for our security agencies in the 2022 appropriation. This also requires that our defense and intelligence related committees step up their oversight on the agencies. The Senate President also disclosed further that the Senate Joint Committee on Finance, National Planning and Economic Matters, Petroleum Downstream, Petroleum Upstream and Committee on Banking will be presenting its report soon on the 2022 and 2024 medium team expenditure framework and the fiscal strategy paper preparatory to the presentation of the 2022 appropriation bill by the President. Distinguished colleagues, the Senate Joint Committee on Finance, National Planning and Economic Matters, Petroleum Downstream, Petroleum Upstream and Committee on Banking has been working hard on the 2022-2024 medium term expenditure framework, MTEF, and fiscal strategy paper, FSP. The report of the committee will soon be presented to the Senate for consideration. This is preparatory to the presentation of the 2022 appropriation bill by Mr. President soon. Let me emphasize that the Senate Indeed, the National Assembly is primed and ready to receive and start work on the bill. That is the appropriation bill. The standing committees are ready to receive ministries, departments, and agencies for budget defense. As in the previous years, all MDAs are expected to defend their budget proposals within the month of October 2021, as this is the only allotted window for that exercise. Distinguished colleagues, there is no gain saying the fact that the early passage of the 2020 and 2021 budgets has yielded tremendous benefits to our economy and country. According to the second quarter GDP report released by the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's gross domestic product GDP increased by 5.01% in the second quarter of 2021, strongest growth since fourth quarter 2014. This can be attributed to the early passage and subsequently um, subsequent implementation of the budgets. On the Electoral Art Amendment Bill passed by the Senate and House of Representatives in July 2021, the Senate President announced that a conference committee will be set up to harmonize the two versions of the bill so as to enable its eventual transmission to the President for assets. Distinguished colleagues, both the Senate and the House of Representatives passed the Electoral Act Amendment Bill in July 2021. There are, however, some differences between the two versions of the bill. There is therefore the need to set up a conference committee between the two chambers to harmonize the two versions. The Senate conference committee will be announced soon. We'll expedite the process to ensure that the National Assembly is able to transmit the harmonized version to the President for his assent. Both chambers have done a great and patriotic job to increase the integrity and transparency of our electoral processes and procedures through these amendments. Nigerians are currently looking to the National Assembly to take steps and legislative actions that will address Nigerian security challenge and revamp the economy.